How can companies exploit social media for advertising purposes? Everyone is talking about social media and what to do right now. So there's, there's a lot of things going on in social and it tends to change more or less every day. The possibilities and the advertising possibilities changes more or less overnight. So I think you need to really um, be hands-on and focused all the time to you know, know all the different possibilities and see how you can use it for your brand. We know for Facebook we have um, around 3 million Danes are active profiles on Facebook each month and that's making it, you know, there's a lot of possibilities for each brand to really hyper target a campaign and say, I want to reach people with, within this age, this gender, this interest in this particular region of Denmark. We can do it really targeted and I think different uh, companies can get some, some really great learnings. They can do some really targeted things where they start to you know, talk with their audience and get more involved with, it, with their audience than they can do on traditional mass media. And how can you hyper-target a, a campaign through social media? What actually happens? So what actually happens is that you go into to the system and you can start you know, playing around. You can start um, testing different things to see how many people you will actually reach. So that also kind of challenged the way that we were planning and executing campaigns before. So instead of doing the campaign for just one or two weeks, as we tend to do, maybe you should look at the, the overall campaign or the activity and say maybe we should just be, have a digital presence for the next six months and then do it really targeted based on people's interest on Facebook. So if you've shown interest in uh, football or anything else, we can actually use these uh, different targeting options in the system and we can then do really targeted targeted uh, banners and uh, involve people in a, in a totally not a way. Minimize the impressions or uh, activities going through an audience that are not really relevant for you and that way optimize the, the spend on digital. And, uh, and how do you make a, a good connection between the advertisements, for instance, on Facebook that you pay for and the activities on your own Facebook page? So obviously social media and Facebook is really much about the, the content. We don't have great cases where we can just do the, uh, the paid advertising and see really great results. It needs to be uh, linked with the content on your website. So I think you need to, you need to sit down, you need to, to look at who is, who's handling the content on your website. Is that someone within their brand? Is it an agency? And you really need to look at the, the content plan and see what's our plan for the next months, for the next three months. What do we want to communicate to the people? How do we want to involve and engage this audience? And how do we use the paid possibilities to actually push our messages out to the right target group? So you might have some content on your Facebook page that are really relevant to women within a specific age. Then you start pushing only this content to that target group and you get, it, you know, you get more viral effect and people will engage with your content as well.